Hey guys, it is Christian here, and today I'm going to review Looney Tunes back in action. But before we get into this, but before we get into this review, please like to subscribe and tell me what do you think of this review. This is the first out of three Looney Tunes related movie reviews that I'm doing. I'm also going to be reviewing Space Jam and Space Jam A New Legacy. I'm going to be reviewing Space Jam tomorrow and then Space Jam A New Legacy on Saturday. So yeah. So, Looney Tunes Back in Action is directed by Joe Dante, and it stars Brendan Fraser, Jenna Elfman, Steve Martin, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and all the other Looney Tunes. So, yeah. It's a movie. It has all your favorite characters, like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Sylvester, Tweety, Tasmanian Devil, oh, it has everyone, Marvin the Martian. And like it has all the best, it has all the classic characters. So yeah. So this movie was released in two thousand and three, and this is my review on the movie. What do I think of it? Do I like it? Do I hate it? Do I think it's mediocre? Do I think it's average? Now this movie. Isn't the best movie in the world? Of course, it's not the best movie in the world. But I love this movie so much. Which I would actually go as far to say I, I like it better than Space Jam. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I like it better than Space Jam. So let's get into the stuff that works for me, and then the stuff, and then we're gonna get to the stuff that didn't work. The Looney Tunes are obviously fantastic here. Bugs Bunny's great. Daffy Duck is great. And all the other Looney Tunes are great as well. The animation is still great. It this it has great animation on the Looney Tunes. And so yeah. It has great animation on the Looney Tunes. The movie is just so fun. Like it's such a fun movie. Um that it, that kid that I think fit, that I think adults can get as much enjoyment as kids can. And also, this movie is really funny. I think it kind of, I think the movie understands the source material of the Looney Tunes a little more than Space Jam, which I'm going to be reviewing Space Jam tomorrow, so you can hear my thoughts on Space Jam tomorrow. Oh, I think it kind of understands the Looney Tunes a little bit more because. In Space Jam, we got these, like, we got a more modern version of Looney Tunes. And here, I'm a very, like, old school, I'm very old school when it comes to the Looney Tunes. And we got the, and we got a perfect version of the Looney Tunes here. Now, Brendan Fraser and Jenna Elfman, and Jenna Elfman aren't great in this movie, but they're decent, I would say. They're not great, they're not horrible, they're just good, like, they're just decent, I guess. And also, this movie is very entertaining, very rewatchable. I can see myself rewatching this quite a few times, and I won't get sick of it. It probably is my favorite cartoon adaptation of all time. Definitely the best one that blends live action and animation, in my personal opinion. I like Roger Rabbit a little bit more, but in terms of like movies that were originally cartoons but went into like a live action format, stuff like the Adam Chipmunks movies, Yogi Bear, all those movies, this one's the best one. And that's not saying that much because a lot of those types of movies are not that good. So, but so it's refreshing to see one of a good, a decent movie out of this. Now let's get into the stuff that didn't really work for me. So the story was pretty generic and pretty predictable and stuff. Of if, if it's pretty generic, pretty predictable. Like I didn't really think I didn't really find it to be that original. Oh, but it is an entertaining story, and don't get me wrong, but it's just a little bit generic. Like, and stuff like that. And I found, like, the opening to be a little dumb when they're at the Warner Bros. studio, and Daffy gets mad at Bugs, because I think Bug they want to make, a, like, a Bugs Bunny movie, and Daffy's not happy. At, no, that was a fun storyline, but that storyline, but it wasn't... An amazing storyline, in my personal opinion. There weren't really any groundbreaking storylines here. You wouldn't expect that in a movie like this, though. In movies like this, I just expect 
decent entertainment. Not to mention the Steve Martin villain is really bad. He's really bad in this movie. It's just so over the top and campy and cheesy. It's just not... He's, it's a horrible performance and a very over the top villain. But those are all the issues I have with the movie. I still love Looney Tunes back in action. It's such a guilty pleasure movie of mine. And I definitely think it's better than Space Jam, which my review of Space Jam is coming out tomorrow. Honestly, you'll see my thoughts on Space Jam tomorrow. So, yeah. With all that said, I am going to give Looney Tunes back in action a 9 out of 10. So, that was my review for or Looney Tunes back in action. Thank you guys very much for watching. And stay tuned tomorrow for my review on the original OG Space Jam starring Michael Jordan. So yeah, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.